Okay, these are the things that I use whenever I do porcupine quill embroidery. Um, first, I have some of these springy snippers. Good for cutting anything. I have a piece of beeswax to wax my thread. It makes it a little stronger. I have a pen to put my designs on leather and to put the designs on to graph paper, which is the other thing I use. I use an eighth inch graph paper to draw designs and I use a ruler that has an eighth inch grid. It's a clear ruler. You can see it on the tray. And it has an eighth inch grid so it matches the squares on my paper so I can transfer the designs onto the leather easily. Um, I've got cotton hand quilting thread, just anything you can get at a department store. My leather thimble that I made myself. You can get some like this but they're not as durable just at Again, another a, a sewing store or a department store. I've also got a small X-Acto knife. This is actually a cuticle cutter from an old manicure set. But an X-Acto knife with a blunt blade will work just fine. This is for cutting the ends off of quills once it's already been the work's been done. I have a quill flattener, which this is not necessary. You can pull them through your teeth, which is traditionally done. You can flatten with your fingers once they've been, the quills have been soaked. Or you can flatten them with the back of a spoon, you just flatten them like that. I have a needle case that has needles in it. I have some large ones for sewing pieces together. The rest are pretty small. They're usually about a size 8 quilting between. You can get that at sewing stores. I also have, these are my quills, and I have soaking them soaking in a bowl. I have cut them cut the barbs off and these are white which is natural and the yellow ones are dyed with Osage Orange dye. I'm not going to get into the dye process right now, I just wanted to show you what things I use. Um, I've got a piece of leather that I've drawn a design on that was drawn on this piece of paper here and I use colored pencils so I can get an idea of what it's going to look like whenever I'm done. Um, on the back of the leather, I've put some masking tape. Sometimes this is brain tan leather that's been smoked and walnut dyed. Um, sometimes the leather is a bit stretchy, and the masking tape makes it a bit more stable. Um, just painter's masking tape is fine because then you can pull it off pretty easy whenever you're done. Uh, I have, for the zigzag technique that I'll be showing you later, I use two needles. I've already gotten one threaded. And the way let me show you how I thread the needle and tie a knot, and then we will be ready to do some work. I usually use about like an 18 inch piece of thread and run the wax over it. You can get wax, usually you can get wax at sewing stores. They have a little plastic container you can drag the thread through, or pick up a bar of wax at Living History Events. Usually they're about $1.25, $1.75, something like that. But once this is waxed, we can pick up our needle and thread the needle, which you may not be able to see, but I'll talk through it. Once the needle's threaded, I wrap the short end of the needle, the thread around the needle two or three times, and then split the thread with the point of the needle and pull that down, which makes ideally a knot. So that one didn't work. Let me try this end. We'll do it again. Okay, wrap it around a couple times. Split the thread with the needle. Just guide the point through between, I mean, in the thread. And then that'll lock the, th the needle onto the thread. And then all the tension you're going to be putting on it won't pull the thread off, the needle off the thread. Now, to tie a knot at the end, I lick my index finger and grab the end of the thread and wrap it around and then slide the thread the tail and in, in, on that loop you made so that it's kind of wound around each other and when I pull it down it puts a nice knot really close to the end and now I have my needle threaded and all of my tools and we're ready to do some quill work. If you can turn it off.